Hey, pirates! It is Kimmy saying I'm back for another episode of the Dual School Fire. No, sorry, the Witch Doctor walkthrough. It's been a few days, guys. I'm having to like reconnect and everything, and I just made a mistake, and I'm very unhappy. But hey, I am back, guys. So if you're catching me in the middle of the stream, which um you probably are, <laughs> you probably are. It's um uh, basically because I thought it was recording, but I wasn't recorded, and something that I don't know. Uh, stuff happens. So thanks for hopping in. We haven't really gotten that far. We are on the quest to, to tick off the Brass Monkey because we got to get the Brass Monkey so that we can get Marleybone to let us into um, the Port Regal Skyway. And the only way to do that is we had to come back here to Monquistador and track down 10 of these ships and destroy more of them than the Brass Monkey. So the Brass Monkey will think, ho, 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 I can't let that guy get ahead of me. Yes, that's basically what's going on. Interesting, interesting. Well, anyways, guys, it's been a few days since our last episode, and I just want to say thanks a lot for everybody who's been hanging out. Thanks a lot for everybody who's been subscribing. We've gotten some new subscribers, and it's very, really awesome. I'm super excited about all of it. Um, so what's been going on? Well, while my health loads back up here, I'll kind of give you an idea of why I've been missing some stuff. What's been going on is that um, I've missed a few days. And the reason why I've missed a few days is because we lost all power of the house and internet. Yep, and internet. So, what does that mean? Well, that means that everything's okay. It's, everything's back to normal now. And I'm super excited to be hanging out with you guys again. But I got a story of woe. But first, I want to say thanks to all my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, guys, what a perfect time to hit that subscribe button. So that's your that's your basically reminder for today if you haven't subscribed yet. Also, if you um, want to support the channel and you want to support the videos, don't forget, if you like the video, hit that like button. It really helps us out with the algorithm. And I want to say thanks to everybody who does that every single video. You guys are absolutely fabulous. And for those of you who don't, guys, it doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps out your content creators a lot. So if you have favorite channels, do you like hitting that stuff really makes a big difference so thanks a lot for everybody who's done that. i appreciate it like you would not believe okay so crazy story at my house yes this is going to be a kimmy say focus episode as we go through these quests i mean heck i still gotta get five more of these dumb ships out of here oh great now i got two of them on my tail and i guy and apparently you know we can't like hit them i okay well so anyways so yeah so basically we had a storm about a week ago on last week Sunday night and we had some hail and there's some damaging stuff come on come on kill him oh not it and this is what makes this stuff last so okay <laughs> very good very good we didn't even do enough damage to wipe them out okay okay so what's what was what's been going on and and such well anyways we had that storm like I was telling you just a minute ago and that storm um well it actually went ahead and why doesn't he? Have it? Well, anyways, that storm came, and what it did is it knocked out um, something on the pole. And I'll tell you how we found out. Well, the next day, I was at work, and I got a call from my—I got some tests from my wife saying that lights were going like up and down and being kind of wacky. Like ran a, a large appliance or something like a microwave that pulls a lot of energy. Oh, okay, that's cool. And then I came home, I saw it doing it, but I recorded a video, and that was probably the last video you guys saw from me. And um, there you go. And so then the next day, um, I get a call saying the internet's down. Okay, so I get home. It's not unusual. Sometimes, yeah, after big storms and stuff, something happens. Yeah, we have some internet issues. So I called customer service. They couldn't get somebody for weeks. So it's going to be a while before I can get back on the internet. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. And unfortunately, without the internet, I got, can't play any games, can't do any recording. Or anything. So that's kind of how that's been going on. No video games, no recording. And so that's what's been taking long. Well, this is what happened. That Tuesday night after I had done the internet stuff, set that up and everything. Um, let's see, I think I'm going to use it. Just a bit. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Him and him. There we go. There we go. There we go. Very good. Done. Knock him out. Oh, do we have somebody just come? That's fine. I don't care. They can come to me. Okay, so anyways, yeah, so everything got blacked out and boom, boom, boom. Good stuff. Yeah, it all happened. It wasn't it was unfortunate. So I had you know, basically everything flashed out, then everything started flickering and doing weird stuff. So I worry so I you know, I, I went into save the house mode and I went ahead and turned off all the breakers, so 
case we were having any shorts or anything was burning up, that um, it wasn't going to burn the house down. Well, turns out we didn't have any power that night, so I went ahead and got an electrician lined up for the next day. Electrician comes out and he tells us, well, we have three wires that come in from the city. This is how usually most electricians work. You have a 120 line, another 120 line, and you usually have a neutral line. So those three lines usually come into your house. Uh huh. And those, and with those three lines, um, you power everything. Okay. Some of your big stuff is powered by two or three things. Wait, go ahead. Yep. Two or two of those lines, and a lot, most of your regular electronics, like your computer and stuff, is only um, is only powered up by one of those lines. Well, anyways. Um, what what ended up happening is during that storm is one of those lines, our neutral line, disappeared, and one of our 120 lines turned into a 240 line. So now it's like OP, and we're getting way too much electricity. But so something was wrong at the pole and the transformer that was up there. So we got the electric company to come out and fix that. And what happened is during that time, and why everything went kind of wacky, is that um, is we had some power surges because of that 240 line, and it burnt out the internet cable line coming into the house. Oh yeah, it was crazy stuff. So it burnt out the internet, and that's why we lost the internet. Now the internet guy was gonna be able to come in for several more days, so um, I just had to wait on that. So in the meantime, what we did is I, um, after they fixed the power, I had to go through all my circuits, make sure that there weren't any shorts. Um, ended up, it ended up burning out two ceiling fans and two surge protectors in our house. Yeah, so. Um, it ended up doing that, plus it ended up still messed up one set of wires that I got to replace for um, some lighting and some power plugs in my laundry room. So, yeah, I've got some things to fix still, but, you know, I know enough electricity to fix it, so I'm pretty excited about that. I don't have to pay electric for that. What I am paying them for is to put a ground wire in, because we don't actually have a ground at our house. Our house is one of those older houses that was made before they, you know, uh, required them to have grounds and everything. So that was probably one of the things that caused us to have more damage than we could have because we didn't have a ground. So, yep, there we go. Exciting stuff. And you know what turned into the ground? It's the internet cable that turned into the ground. Did I already say that? I might have already said that. And so basically that's why we haven't had internet because the internet cable burned up because it was like it became the ground for the house and all the electricity that couldn't find a place to go um, during the again. And see, that would have destroyed it. Ah, oh, this one. Okay. Well, anyways, yep, that is my story of woe to get this recording start off, guys. And so that's kind of where we've been for the last few days. I want to thank everybody who's, like, checked out the channel. Hit that subscribe button. In the meantime, ooh. Can't do that. I don't want that. Oh man, these guys are just focusing. Okay, well anyways, um, so, well, um, so story short, all, all weekend I was fixing the wires and I just installed a new ceiling fan here in my game room. Luckily enough, none of the computer equipment or my TV were damaged or anything. So only a couple ceiling fans and uh, and that's it. So yeah, things worked out. Things worked out. Everything's good. Never read. Fine. Of course, come to me. Let's go. Yep, and so that's kind of the way my week spin out. Yep. Just on um, exciting stuff. Losing power, having to get power back. Losing internet, rewiring the house, getting internet back, which is what I'm doing Sunday. So I got it up back a whole day earlier, so I'm pretty excited about that. That's why I'm going to be able to get this video out on Monday. And unfortunately, this was the weekend we were going to kick off the server. So if you still want to um, be part of our Minecraft server, we I run a vanilla server. Um, it's called Kimmy State Craft. I make videos off it, plus I hang out and play with a whole bunch of um, the channel supporters. And there's two ways you can support the channel and be able to and get active for the whitelist is either you can be a member channel here on YouTube or you can be a Patreon member. Um, link is in the description of the video and on the website. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and check it out. Super appreciate everybody who's any way you can, even if even if it's the easy and free way, which is just hitting that subscribe button. So thanks guys. Thank you, thank you so much. 
Okay, so let's get back here. Let's do some Power 101. Recap, big recap again for those of you who have not been hanging out with us for a while. Um, basically, what we're trying to do is we're trying to destroy enough of these Imperial warships so that we can get the attention of the Brass Monkey. The Brass Monkey is the guy we have to get attention for so that the Marley Bunnigans will say, oh, hey, oh, well, actually, we want to capture the Brass Monkey. Then by handing him over to the Marley Bunnigans, then we can go ahead and catch up with Mustang Sally. And if we can catch up with Mustang Sally, Actually, I'm just going to follow these and put back. Very good. Yeah, because it goes quicker if a couple of us are beating up on ships, right? Yes, and so that's what we're trying to do right now is, we, is to be able to get into Regal Skyway, I think is what it is, Prince Port Regal Skyway, is we have to um, get through Marleybonian, and the trick is to stop the um, monkey. Yeah, you know, that monkey, the brass monkey. Capture him and turn him into the Marley Bonian. Okay. And if I'm it's the only one I get to hit, that's fine. Very nice, very nice. Okay, good. Yeah, and remember, we're trying to get the Mustang side. I have to do a cleaning of my keyboard. Yeah, I was noticing one of my cats like to sleep on my keyboard when I'm not in the room. Gotta, gotta train her out of it. There we go. Almost have him finished up. Here we'll heal up here. There we go. Ships back at full capacity. Let's strike. There we go. Two big hits. Come on, my guys. And yay! Now we just have to head back to um, Skull Island. I think that'll be the quickest way to get to the Temple of the Dog hideout. Woo! Boy. 12 minutes of extremely fun stuff. <laughs> very, very good. Well, guys, I'm super excited. So hopefully we can get this quest moving along. We have been like doing these um, Captain Dan quests forever to try to get into Port Regal. And it's been kind of a side, side quest pain in the butt, even though it's the main quest. I'll tell you what, Pirate can like um, reroute you, reroute you so many different ways before you finally get to your objective. It's almost mind numbing. You know, you know why? This is the reason why, um, why, <laughs> uh, Cool Ranch is such a long, long world to go through because we still haven't even gotten to the last section of Cool Ranch, believe it or not. Yeah, we have not even gotten to the last section of Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch is so big, there's still a section we've not gotten to because. Yeah, I mean, are you kidding me? Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, so, like, oh my goodness. Yeah, and, um, oh yeah, I remember. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get that piece of the map. And the piece of the map is taken by Captain Blood, um, who was put down by the original El Toro, and Tonka was supposed to know, but Tonko didn't know, so we had to pull up the original El Toro, the Ghost Raphael, but until we find his daughter and bring him back and reunite him with the current El Toro, yes, um, he won't tell us the goods. So, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a vicious cycle of twisting and turning of rub my back three, four times. And Captain Dan, since we've like being up his guys so much, he was not very forthcoming in helping us out. Yes. Instead, he asked for all these little things first, and now he gives us this big roundabout quest, which is the only way to get in to Port Reed. Like, eh, does it act? Apparently, apparently it doesn't. Apparently, the twists and turn never saw. Just wait, because this isn't the end of it, as I remember. It's been a while since I've done this quest. But as I remember, we're not done with the twists and turns of this quest yet. Oh yeah, it gets even better. And we get introduced to some interesting characters along the way. So, as we ride up here to Captain Dan. Goodness, this dog annoys me. Okay, we are hopefully gonna get close to actually getting into the Port Regal Skyway. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, it wasn't like it was terribly stuff, but that last one having to like take down ten of those ships over in Monquista. I mean, if it, we just, if we were just taking them over, taking them down here in, um, yeah, you know where I'm talking. Well, apparently, she had the same quest. Oh, that other pirate girl who was asking for help. Yeah, she had the same quest because you're um, doing her thing as well. Interesting. My um, teleport thing. Is. Oh, to the tomb of De La Vega. Yeah, let's leave it there because eventually we're gonna have to go back to the tomb of De La Vega and say, "Hey, look, we found her." Oh yeah, we found her. So that's why. That's that's why we have the return there. Okay, Captain Dan. See here, pirate. I've a bone to pick with you. Oh dear God. If you'll recall, I once asked you to go down into the tunnels and drive back the monsters. I'd hoped you'd quiet things down, but you did nothing of the sort. The creatures are riled up worse than ever. Your fault. You were the one who heated them up, as it were, so it stands to reason you should cool them down. Go down there and finish the job, eh, what? It not be enough to fight them monsters, Captain, my Captain. We got to beat their leaders, then they go quiet. Are you kidding me? I mean, oh, this guy. I'm done with him. Okay. Talk about holding a carrot over our heads. Got a bone to pick with. I got a freaking bone to pick with him. I'm going to burn down every scurvy dog ship I see out there from now on. I don't care. It's all about yeah. Okay. We got to go to Eki Eki Zip Boing first. Oh, my. Da, 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 da. Things we do. Come on. Eki Eki Zip Boing. Eki Eki. I think he's... We actually passed him last time. We were doing this original stuff. Okay. Eki Eki Zip Boing. We got to knock down a couple of weeks. We got to get a... Uh, Eki 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 Zip Boing. 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 Uh, well, that explains me. Let's get rid of the stuff here. Go ahead and start powering up through. Very good. Well, hey, hey, hey. Can't say we aren't getting close. Final question. Oh, no. Tell you what, the crew is good. I do like my crew. They are rock and roll to the bone. Nice. Ah. That guy'd come down one more square. This could be like a perfect uh, brushing close. Oh, you know what? I don't even have a good one to do. Okay, I'm just gonna power up everybody else's. See if that doesn't take down him. <laughs> nice job, Mojo. You know, when he's on, he is on. Okay, we got one. <laughs> Okay, let's take these last two, uh... Let's go, guys. Brush them. Excellent. Okay, now we gotta defeat Ekbeck. I think we've already defeated Ekbeck anyways, because I think when we came back this way the first time, we actually defeated Ekbeck, because he just stands there waiting for somebody to fight, and we end up fighting before. Okay, well, it looks like we gotta fight Ekbeck again. He wasn't that hard to begin with the first time, so I'm sure he won't be any harder than he was the first time. 
Okay, let's get rid of uh, things we don't need. Let's start boosting the crew. There we go. We're ready to do this. Let's watch the laser-eyed lizards come in. Very cool. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, they're so far away. Okay. Hopefully they'll um, gather in just a little wee tad more. But I think what I'll do is... I'll go ahead and hit... Hit him? Yeah. I'll hit him first. We'll have him mojo everybody up. Ooh. Got him. We'll pull him up a little further and put him right there. Okay, good. Oh, look! We got somebody in on the fight with us. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted him to come in a little closer. Oh, good, good, good. Now we can get the other two in. Perfect, perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the way I like it. And Mighty Sneakers in the, in the game, too. Very, very good. Okay. Let's start dancing. Oh. We'll have them do up there, though. Let's see what we get going. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like that. Mojo, bring in the hits. Tell you what, when he's on... Goodbye, Ekbeck. Ekbeck. Who didn't quite get rid of that guy? Okay, can Mormo bring the bring the pain? Can. Nice. Good job. Awkward calamity. Okay, this guy's finished. Tell you what, Mighty Sneaker has the dodge of many buttons. Okay, let's finish this guy off and get out of here. Come on, Kalani. Out here, 29 Gunslinger, very nice. Oh, there's the last chest. Let's get that um, coin. Nice. I like getting the coin. Okay. Captain Dan time. Let's go ahead and get this conversation over so that we can finally, finally get into Port Regal Skyway. I mean, talk about a long, strong out process. Better not be fussing anymore. This wore me out. You've put them through the ringer, eh? Hopefully they'll stop making such a racket and storming my office here. Good, good. You've done well. Good news. Your deeds have drawn the ire of the Brass Monkey. We just received this letter. To the insolent captain of the cowardly fleet of Marleybone. Your arrogance can no longer be born. I, Brastillo de Brass, greatest captain in these or any skies, challenge you to combat, ship to ship. I await you in the Antilles Maelstrom. If you know the meaning of the word honor, and if you are no coward, come face me. Good hunting. A final word. Sally mentioned someone named Gilbert. If you make it to Port Regal, he may know where she's gone. Okay, let's go capture the monkey. We're going to let this episode last a little bit longer since it's been a week since the last time I got one out. Wow, haven't had a out shortage on that for a while. Quite some time. Well, that's okay. Let's go ahead and um, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and finish this brass monkey thing off because that's what we've been doing. Yep, yeah, that's what this whole 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 focus has been on. It's been all about the brass. 
I like her ship symbol. The full moon. See, mine is just the oh, full moons aren't always ship. Okay. Is this where the grass monkey is in this thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's head in. saw that coming. Oh, look at it. I love it. The brass monkey. I like the banana. That is a great looking ship. Get a picture of that. Eventually, we're going to start this fight, right? So, this is the finest that Marleybone can pit against me? Ha! Prepare to learn the true meaning of defeat, ruffian. Okay, what is our victory conditions? Defeat all enemies. Well, you know, it's power. Ooh, you know what? Should we just like get everybody moved up here? Because these are all, yeah. We're gonna to need to get everybody moved up. Let's just do that. Because it seems to me like he is not going to take the time to come out from behind his thing. Yeah, they all went farther back. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to storm them, guys. That's fine. I knew it, but I really like the fact that they're all bunched together. Okay. Now let's put the mojo together. Okay, we need to tear them down before they kill off one of our guys. The good news is I think now that we're powered up, everything is in our favor. And, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Watch it crumble. Here is the power of a fully witch doctor crew right here. There's only one left? <laughs> He's going to be unhappy. Well, what should we do? I guess we'll just... No. Yes, we'll do the classic ghost one. And the brass monkey is on. No! Treachery! Deceit! You cheat! You liar! You fiend! I curse your name! I will have my vengeance, pirate! I will have my vengeance! And there we go. One brass monkey sorted out. That didn't take too long. No, not at all. Okay, guys, well, let's let's just get into Port Regal, okay? Well, and we'll stop it there. Let's get into the Port Regal Skyway. It's just ahead. Let's make sure that this works. Do we get anything special? Ooh, we went up to Nautical Level 33. Woohoo! Yes. So if we look at our character, we're sitting at Level 31, and we're two Nautical Levels high. That's light. I love getting level um, that high ahead of my Nautical Level. That just makes um, ship fighting a whole lot easier. So, um, very good, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Very nice. 
Well, anyways, just a reminder, guys, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, if you like the video and you're enjoying what we're doing, hit that like button. It really does help out, and that goes for any of your content creators who you watch here on YouTube. It's a little thing you can do. It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't blow up your feed. Um, all it does is it helps us. It really helps us. And I want to say thanks to everybody who's been checking out some of the older series, older views. I've been noticing my Myth Walkthrough has been getting tons of views. Thanks, guys, for that. I appreciate that. And I love continuing to make these videos. So appreciate everybody. Okay. Ah, you know, eventually get there, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a process. Guess a little bit of a boost. There we go. Look, guys, we're almost there. Okay. Yeah, now you've captured the brass monkey. Well done. Take this little monkey to the governor in Port Regal for his just desserts. Do we turn him in? I say we should turn him in. Let's go ahead and turn him in to the governor of Port Regal for his just desserts. This is the last open section of Skull Island, guys. Pretty cool, right? Yep, there's some new nefarious characters we're going to meet out here. And it's going to be interesting. Yes, it is going to be interesting. I cannot wait to see how it goes. Port Regal has a lot of great Easter eggs in it. We'll see if you guys can um, catch any of the Easter eggs. But let's go ahead and turn the Brass Monkey in. And then and finish out Take this episode. Take Monkey to Governor. Then we find Gilbert. I'm with you there. That is exactly... The process we are going to take. What did you do over here? Do, 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 do. I love Marleybone. Marleybone's like one of my favorite worlds in the entire game um, of Wizard 101. And I'll tell you what, when I saw the Pirate 101 treatment to Marleybone and these areas here that are their Marleybone built, oh, I'm like a fanboy all over. Oh, the side quests are popping up all over because we entered a new area. Look at all those side quests. Oh, my goodness. We're going to be busy the next few days. Okay, let's turn this into the governor. Okay, Governor Stanley. I understand you've single-handedly brought this villain to justice. Congratulations, Captain, and welcome to Port Regal. You're quite the adventurer, eh? Never took ship myself. It was Her Majesty's Army for me, where I was the very model of a modern Major General. Easter egg number one. You dealt a great blow for Marleybone against our enemies. Here is but a slight reward for your efforts. I curse your name! Beware, pirate. The prison has not been built that can hold me. I will have my vengeance! Well, that's the last we'll see of that little blowhard. Now where do we find Gilbert? Captain, Excellent. I've always prided myself on my mastery of scholastic topics far beyond elemental strategy and tactics. Another Easter egg. My special passion is archaeology, the study of which I took up during my service in Crocotopia. Ah, to plumb the mysteries of the past. Capital! Here in Skull Island, there are remarkable ruins, ancient pyramids which, alas, my duties as governor prevent me from exploring. A fabulous treasure, the golden idol of Tolok, lies in the tunnels under the scurvy dog's haven. Fetch me the idol, and I'll richly reward you. He just hit us with a side quest. Well, that's good. Okay. Well, anyways, guys, that is all the time we have for today. So, this is the Practical Cured Web for the Witch Doctor Walkthrough in Power 101. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you later. Bye-bye.